Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a new vlog. This vlog is going to consist of me prepping to go to Aruba. Your girl is always going on vacation, okay? Because I do not like New York anymore. <laughs> I cannot stay in New York. I, if I can go someplace, I'm gonna go. Because I'd rather be there than me in New York. And the weather is changing and it just isn't like what it's supposed to be. We're really going to celebrate my good friend Shanisha. Y'all have seen her multiple times on the channel, okay? It's going to be her birthday, September 7th. And that's where we're going. Right now, I am doing a lot of cleaning because I haven't been home for a while so I need to clean up my room is just a mess um, I need to wash my makeup brushes because I haven't washed these brushes in months okay and before we get into any more of this vlog if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button my name is Fanta okay I do videos on makeup hair lifestyle I do it all I try to you know add more juice into it every now and then but that is the basis of my videos and if you want to keep up with my videos and see what my life is about then make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell so you are one of the first to know when i upload a new video i upload videos every sunday monday and tuesday sometimes i slack off a little bit depending on my lifestyle and what's going on but there always will be a video either a sunday monday or a tuesday if not all three and sometimes i'll probably add in a little extra bonus video throughout the week so yeah right now i'm washing my makeup brushes and that's what we're about to get into um i also have to clean my room i have to wash my hair i have to i, I made a list because it's a lot of things that i have to do right so today i am going to do a couple of youtube videos right i want to do a vacation try on haul lookbook travel essentials but the travel essentials slash skincare i may have to push that off to like later on in the middle of the week and hopefully i have time to do that maybe i'll probably do that wednesday or thursday because i leave friday um how to on my hair i want to do my hair today so i'll make sure to do that today and then a get ready with me which i probably won't do now i think i'll do that like either wednesday or thursday like one of those days because i just don't feel like i have enough time to do that and clean my room and do everything that i need to do it's just too much going on so i'm about to go wash my brushes i already started washing my brushes but i'm gonna show y'all this one of my lights popped in the living room so it's kind of dark but y'all will live so these are my makeup brushes i already washed these sponges this sponge is washed as well i'm gonna put this right here i just didn't want dirty brushes touching it but yeah, so this is washed. I have to wash all of these and then these. Surprisingly, these are all the makeup brushes that I have had in like my travel case. Um, I have more brushes that are clean than just been sitting there, but these are like my go-to brushes that I always use on my face. So I need to go ahead and wash these. As you can see, like this one isn't really that dirty, but because it's just been sitting there accumulating dust and stuff, I wanna clean it off. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to be using, if my camera's a little bit st unsteady it's because I have you guys in my bra right now. I'm going to be using the Beauty Blender Cleanser, the liquid charcoal. Um, I just take some water and I put, well, I'm going to wait to put the water on the brush. Like a little bit of that. I use that or I use mine. I forgot what company this is from, but it's a black soap by something. I just cannot remember. I cannot remember right now. So then I just wet my brushes. Oh, and look at my nails. I just did my nails. Super cute. I've been dying for this style for so long so cute vacation nails popping but this one is already chipping off i went to a different lady not mine like natural or well, my usual nail tech because my usual neck nail tech is on vacation so i'm very I'm frustrated about that but i need to go get this fixed in the morning
So all my brushes are clean now. Um, I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit and all my beauty blenders are clean. That is a burnt bar from some hookah. But yeah, so all my brushes are clean. I really love this washing mat. I feel like it just makes it so much easier to clean my brushes. I literally take like my eye brushes, like these, this was one group of eye brushes. I put the soap down and I scrub it. If I feel like there's some that needs to be extra cleaned or anything, as you guys can see, it's very clean. Like all of them, once it focuses, are very clean. There's no residue of like any makeup on it whatsoever. If I feel like I need to like, oh, no, 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 not on that. If I feel like I need to go ahead and like really like wash one, like this one, I really had to wash it because I had like my dark makeup on it. Um, I'll just go ahead and individually wash it again, but it really makes it so much quicker. I was able to finish with all of this in probably less than 45 minutes, and this usually takes me like an hour to do. So I'm going to link it down below because I got it from Amazon. Um, but yeah, I am about to clean my room now. Um, more so kind of like pack. I need to clean my room, figure out what I'm going to let me pause this so i need to pack and figure out what it is i'm going to take with me to aruba and i need to put away my clothes as well so i'm going to be doing all of that simultaneously and also like mopping my floors and just organizing a little bit i think i need to order like a organizer again for like under my um vanity dresser and in my corner so that's what i'm gonna do because i have a lot of like hair supplies and stuff um i have literally just ordered you guys see my skin breaking out? I don't know what's going on over there. Um, I had literally just ordered, what did I order? A makeup traveling case because this is like my usual traveling case for makeup. But I just, it's dirty. I want to throw it out. I want to get a new one. I just don't want to like deal with that. Um, so let me go on Amazon right now. All right, so let me find this and then I'm going to get back on here because my wrist is hurting. So... Okay, so I ended up getting my storage boxes. I just got some clear ones that have like drawers in it that I could put in my little corner. Um, this corner used to have my plant there, but I just got over the plant and I was just like, I just don't want that there anymore. And I'm like, I could just move it to the side and then I could sit my um, pompous plant over there and then that way it'll be equal. And then on the sides, I can just put my like shoes my Louboutin shoes and my wax kit and all of that I could kind of stack those right next to it it would just be more organized in that corner over here I have so much shit like I did, I'm just gonna do this like I have so much shit on my floors that I need to get together and I can't get it together because I have to figure out what I'm going to pack got these flowers from day yeah, I got my favorite flowers. My favorite flowers are white and yellow roses. Um, the last time he got me red and yellow because I also do like red roses. But I just feel like white and yellow roses are harder to find. And it's just like when you put in the extra effort to find these, I just feel like it's just more special. Um, I even want like my bouquet for my wedding to be white and yellow. Um, so he got this. He got it with a card. It was just so like unexpected. I literally cried. So I just need to find a vase to put it in before they die because they're starting to die. So that's what I'm doing at this point. But yeah, that's going there. All right, y'all. So I need to take a break. I need to eat. I know it seems like I haven't done much because everything is still like over the floor. But I don't know if you guys remember this side, but this side is pretty much empty. Um, I put all my shoes up at the top like I fit them. Okay, I got this box back here so y'all can't really see it, but... I might be acting like I can't flip. I put them like all up here with like my bags and everything. So it's like more space up there. I just threw away like some like old bags that I never used and stuff. Um, and then like everything that's out, like I have stuff on my bed. Most likely I need to sort out. I need to sort this stuff out. Um, and figure out what I'm taking with me, what I'm not. Some of this stuff I just need to like put it inside my like drawers and stuff. This is what I carried from Queens to watch Virgin River. Um, I don't know how I like it. It's not like I love it, but it is interesting enough for me to watch it. Um, but yeah, my room should be clean by like 10 30. I'm definitely not gonna be able to record any videos today, but what I will do is wash my hair and try to do my hair tonight. If I can possibly do that, come on, focus. 
yeah so what I will do is wash my hair and try to well take out my hair and wash my hair and try to do my hair tonight but I need to go to my car because I need to get my um hair towel because I don't like to use regular towels and stuff on my hair because it like snags on my hair so I need to go get my hair towel and yeah and then I need to sort this stuff out so that's like the next thing that I need to do on my couch is just like that's my couch my little chair I want to replace this chair I want to get a different chair a smaller chair I feel like a smaller chair is not going to make it look so bulky um I've been looking on impressions vanity for so long to see if they're smaller little pink version of like it's like a pink chair as well but it kind of looks like a crown if that chair is ever in stock but it, ne it never is but I want to get that and I want to throw this one out because I'm just so over this chair and I feel like it's way too high even when I record videos I just feel like it sits up too high but yeah so that's what I want to do but I need to eat I'm so hungry okay all right you guys so it is the next day I just put on like sunscreen so you can see I'm like I have a pimple right here right here right here I feel like my period is coming because that's I've noticed that lately like when my period is coming I break out like with small little pimples and stuff I don't know why I look so discolored right here but so it's the next day and I finished cleaning my room you know pretty much like tidying up all the stuff that's on my um chair is things that i need to try on for my haul that i'm shooting and all my brushes are dry now and then i want to clean up this area so just like a few little things that i have to do um i was supposed to be doing my friend's hair today but i'm actually going to be doing it on wednesday so right now i'm about to go get my toes done so i could just get that out the way and then go fix my nail because this is like come on focus like the nail is like chipping off and it should be no reason why the nail is chipping off this is why I like to go to my nail tech and not a different nail tech because things like this happen when you cheat on your nail tech but she wasn't here and I needed my nails done so what is a girl to do oh, yeah. all right I am tired I just woke up from a nap because like I said mm -hmm. I'm tired but I'm about to take out this hair of mine it is time for it to go mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing, um, what are these things called? Butterfly braids. I'm excited for that. I low key kind of want to keep this just in case I would do this again instead of having to buy more hair. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, whew, I'm so tired. I feel like after I went to look at my nails done, I do not like my nails. I do not like my toes. Like my toes don't like it pretty much hated mm -hmm. like it's just not done the way they did it when I was going to when I was staying in Queens so now Queens has my heart and guess what your girl is gonna be doing from now on traveling to Queens to get her nails done because I'm not playing I am very anal when it comes to like beauty services I don't care if it's lashes I traveled to Brooklyn to get my lashes done when I first moved here um I don't know if you guys know but I lived in Brooklyn for like majority of my life up until I graduated high school so when I first came here I um, used to travel to Brooklyn to get my nails done because I had a guy there that did nails very great. And then once he moved, I never got his like phone number or anything like that. So once he moved, I think he opened up like, his old salon and the freaking people at the nail salon didn't want to give me his info. I'm trying to be... Um, <laughs> so I ended up having to be like forced to find a nail tech. Found one. Then she ended up blocking me because I wasn't able to make... Uh, mm -hmm. appointment when I had asked her ahead of time like it can I reschedule and she was like no she's booked out and I was like okay well if she can cancel my appointment because I won't be able to make it and I don't want to say that I am and then I'd be late she blocks me I can understand if I never like told her that I was going to like not make it and I just don't show up but I communicated with you and then you just blocked me crazy so then I found my nail tech Lena um, and I've been with her ever since and I'm just so happy because she's right next to my house. It's like less than like, you know, a couple of minutes away or whatever the case is. And I was getting my toes done by these people for a while. But another thing is, is that they've literally raised their prices. Oh, lemonade. I feel like her grandmother's about to come in and see his ass. What I said! I knew it. I'm watching Virgin River. But, um... What was I saying? I used to get my nails done by these people all the time, but I feel like ever since like COVID, they've just been raising their prices <clears throat> gradually, and I don't like that. And I don't feel like their work is worth it. Like there should be no reason why because I'm doing French, I'm paying an extra ten dollars per foot. What? Like 
I paid like almost $80 for my toes, bro. I've never paid $80 for my toes. The most I get pay my toes for pay to get my toes done usually be like 40, maybe 50 or whatever. If I'm doing some like special type of nail something or toe something, then okay, like it'll be like fifty sixty dollars but other than that i don't pay that much and i'm just like and i didn't even really like it the color that they did on my toes is not really a color that i like on my toes i want it to be like a light pink but still neutral and it just doesn't look right but yeah so since then i'm just now i came home i was very upset i'm a cry baby whenever shit don't come out right so i cried my eyes out to my boyfriend and then i took a nap and now i feel better so i'm just going to i didn't go to the nail tech for her to go and fix my nail because i'm like truly i don't even care at this point like i'm just gonna go on this trip with my nails however the hell it is and i'm gonna just let it be like i don't even care my hair looks so crazy so crazy but it was definitely time for these to come out like, definitely time i'm just afraid of like more of the nails like chipping as i do hair because i have to do my hair my and two of my friends hair um this week so that's what i'm afraid of but hopefully it does it if it does then fuck it honestly i'm throwing this out because I don't, I don't have nowhere to put this <sighs> I don't have nowhere to put this and I don't want to play with it, so. Yeah, I, I'm gonna wash my hair. Now this got to go. This is heavy. what's up you guys it is the next day i have started my hair um the little whatever butterfly whatever braids um i'm struggling because i can't seem to get the back like as tight as i want to but i'm not taking out these two like i said i'm only keeping this i don't know if i told you guys but i'm only keeping this in for two weeks so i'm going to just try to make this one tighter but it's just hard to braid tight when i'm i can't see my hair you know like i can't, i'm not it's not like i'm braiding somebody else's head and i'm able to like add you know i don't know tightness to it <laughs> right now it's just me braiding my hair and it's just so frustrating because i can't seem to get it as tight as i want it to be at the base um but i'm gonna try i'm just really trying right now because i really don't have no other choice i literally just gotta do this and just call it a day um i am gonna do like a how-to video i'm planning on doing that 
um, a how to do like knotless braids because I want to put that up. Um, oh shit, I never finished uploading the other video. I just went to sleep. Shit. If I can get this up before three, so that's 65%. So I'm hoping that I can get it up before three today because that is today's the last day of my uploading schedule. Um, I just want to get back into the momentum of things. That's part of the reason why I'm doing my hair right now because and want to do a video of it. Even though I feel like there's a thousand and one videos of how to do it, I still want to put one up because I just feel like a lot of people don't know that I know how to do hair. So I want to put that up and have that up for next week. So that way I have two videos up next week. I also want to record my perfume video. Um... It's gonna be. I'm supposed to wake up at eight o'clock today, so I should have been done with my hair, but your girl did not. I don't know who I thought I was. Oh, I need to take out my hair. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and try to do like a how to on here because, like I said, I'm doing a video. So if y'all want to know how I did that, go ahead and check out that video because it's already up before this video. Okay, it is so late. It is like five o'clock. I did not think that it was gonna take me that long to do my hair, but it was just so, it's so freaking hard to do knotless braids on yourself. Like I do knotless braids for my friends and clients all the freaking time. And if I was doing this style on a client, I'll be done with it in less than two and a half hours, less than two hours to be honest, because it's big, it's not that difficult. However, doing it on myself, Oh my god like trying to get your hands in the proper position to keep your hair in this proper position it just does not maneuver the same and I'm tired um, and I'm about to go get me something to eat and I'm really about to go get me some McDonald's so but don't judge me okay but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Tula I got a cute little care package from Tula a re-up on some of my favorites um, it says unleash your glow enjoy this little restock the perfect necessities to help you glow through the end of summer you are a huge part of our team and we are so thankful for your continued partnership thank you Tula so much for having me as a brand ambassador if you guys want to save some money on your Tula products make sure if you guys want to save some coins on your Tula products make sure to use my coupon code which is Queen Fanta you'll be getting 15% if I'm not mistaken yes 15% off of your purchase so I'm just gonna go ahead because I want to wash my face because I was like having the hair across my face and all this other stuff and I've been breaking out right here I had to make a big girl decision today and not go and get my facial and I really really wanted to go get a facial so tonight after I finish doing or maybe tomorrow after I finish doing my videos and wrapping them up I'm gonna do like a very like detox max mask type of relaxing day most likely it's going to be tomorrow but i just want to go ahead and just wash my face really quickly and i'm going to be using the cult classic the purifying face cleanser by tula okay one of my favorites i am very big on using products that are not harsh on my skin i love this product because it does have probiotics and prebiotics in it and lactic acid which is not like salicylic acid or anything like that or benzol is it like benzol perox some something like that which is very very harsh on the skin and if you do not have like acne prone skin or very oily skin it can actually break down your skin's epidermis um, protective layer and then cause your skin to be prone to a whole bunch of bacteria that will cause your skin to break out my skin likes things that are very simple this is the reason why I stick to foaming washes things that do foaming cleansers things that don't have that much heavy um, acids in it that are more prone that are more catered to acne or super oily skin I love this all right if you guys have been following my channel for a very long time even I've been for a very long time but as you guys know when I used to do all my sit down videos the Tula glow and get it cooling brightening eye balm this right here had my under eyes looking nice because it like radiates like light like it has like a reflective like properties in it so when you have it under your concealer or even if you don't wear your have it under your concealer you have it like under whatever skincare you're gonna wear like literally it radiates light so if you have like dark circles sunken hollows you guys know that i have hollows it literally radiates that light back i love this now they sent me the rose glow 
and get it. I have not tried this one, but I think this is just the pink version to that one. That one is more of like an icy blue, but I'm excited to see how this one works. I'm bringing both of these with me to Aruba because, you know, your girl got to be glowing differently, okay? Okay. And then, of course, they restock the 24 7 moisture hydrating day and night cream i love a dual purpose moisturizer because it just cuts down on my routine but you guys already know i love me at spf so i use i usually get for the daytime i usually get a, a um, spf moisturizer just to use throughout the day because i just prefer an spf moisturizer instead of doing a moisturizer and then an spf moisturizer i feel like that's just too heavy on my skin um and the amount of spf moisturizer you have to put on your skin anyways has your skin like glowing i don't need no more extra glow okay but i love to just carry that around but this i definitely do if i'm like in the house all day um and i just wash my face in the middle of the day like right now i'm washing i'm washing my face in the middle of the day the sun isn't really out like it's daylight out but the sun isn't really out um i will go in and moisturize my face with this so yes i'm about to go wash my face and then go get me some food i'm about to go get me some McDonald's because i am hungry and i don't have time to wait for uber eats or anything to come i feel a headache coming on and once that is like that i need to get food in my system a stop or else it's done for this video stuff is not gonna happen if i get this headache so i want to avoid that i want to be as productive as possible so what's up guys how are you um i am on my way to get tested Oh, I thought he just like randomly stopped here. I am on my way to get tested for the vid. Cause you know, I gotta get my PCR testing before I go on vacation. So I'm going to get that. I was actually supposed to take it yesterday, but I'm going to the CVS one um, for their PCRs. And their PCRs typically take about one to two business days. Um, and just in case, just to be safe to make sure, I'm also going to be going to, um, where am I going? I'm also <laughs> going to be going to a hospital to get tested as well because theirs is 48 to 72 hours. But I just didn't want to take the risk of 72 hours because that means that it may not get here in time for my trip. So I just didn't want to take that risk. Sorry. It's just I don't know what is going on with my camera as of late. It just isn't doing what it needs to do. But um, I just wanted to make sure that I get it. But I'm going into this particular location because it's on my way to Kyler's house. Um, and I'm going to go do her hair. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to listen to my music. I'm about 15 minutes away from it. I'm running like 15 minutes behind my appointment timing. But I'm hoping that because it's like a drive through thing, they'll still let me go. I'll be like, oh, I'm coming from New York. There's a whole bunch of traffic. I turn my nerves, you know? Um, give me a second. Okay. I'm scared. I have to do this myself. I am so freaking scared, y'all. Like, oh my god, I'm really bad. I'm shaking. I'm shaking yeah. like this. No. Okay. Okay, put it all the way up and leave it in there? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, 
Right there? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. I literally saw blood when I took it out of my nose. Like there was literally blood. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am. Wow. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, whoever that be sitting here. Taking y'all tests yourselves, y'all are brave because baby girl, I cannot, I can't. My freaking battery's about to die. Just perfect, isn't that great? I'm not even gonna be able to vlog me doing Kyla's hair again, but I'm probably prop up my um, phone and do it that way. But I'm just gonna preserve some battery and that's that. Look okay. camera, okay. camera dead in oil, but let's see if we could get like a couple of seconds okay. of Kyla's. Oh, 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 okay. Stay there, stay there. Star braids, okay. Cause I'm a star. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no what? behavior. Who said what? No behavior. Don't do that. Look at me about to fall. Okay. You see? You Period. See? <laughs> oh, I'm about to I head home. It. I love it. I'm I glad you do. I feel like my shit look better than hers. Okay guys, so I'm back home now and I'm about to start packing. My room is a complete mess. Let me just put you guys up so that way I could go ahead and, you know, edit. But let me show you guys um, some glasses that I got my, for myself and for Shawnee. Ugh. I don't need you guys to be seeing up my skirt. Let me just put you right here. This is so much easier. So I'll put y'all here. So I had ordered these shades and I ordered a freaking side. I mean, I ordered two of both of them and I'm very annoyed about them. Um, but it is the Versace Interchangeable Sunglasses in the color Fuchsia and white. So, oh my God, my fucking legs, they hurt. Oh, look how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. So freaking cute. It's going to be such a freaking vibe. Okay. Um, and then it comes with three other shades. Well, two other shades. This pinkish shade right here. Ooh! I can't, I can't wait. Um, I'm trying not to like get my fingers on them because... And then it comes with a very dark shade. A black one. A black shade here. So it does that oh it kind of like snaps on because magnetics already snaps on but that's that and then we have the white one I'm gonna show you guys the white one what I'm showing you is basically the same thing that I'm gonna be giving Shawnee as well since I ordered two I was trying to figure out what I wanted to get her and then I ordered two of these and I'm like okay maybe I guess this is a sign I should just get her this um at this point I'm basically like the Versace gift giver <laughs> if you know you know and this one is the white one it's not really much of a difference the only thing with the white one though is that it did not come with a clear one and that's the main reason why I ordered the pink because I wanted a clear shade but I was like damn maybe I should have got black because then I could have had black shades because I really like black shades too but like this is more of like a vacation shade and not really like a let's go out you know, like, let's go to the beach, beach, let's go get away type of shade. You know what I mean? And this also comes with this another gradient shade, too, like this. Let me show you guys. Let me just go ahead and just change it off. It's literally like a magnet. At first, when I first got this, I was scared. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to break this. But, yeah, it's literally like, oh, I'm scared. It's literally like a magnet. And you take it and you just, like, slide it into place. This is the gradient one super cute super cool i'm feeling this um and then let me show you guys how it looks with the clear one. Ah, oh, look at the white one the white one is the one the white one is the one okay this is such a vibe 
imagine on a yacht who is you talking to okay this is so freaking cute i love it i love it so much so i got her her own set at this point so i'm gonna be packing that i got like a birthday bag i was trying to get one that i felt i felt like fit her vibe because she's not really like a loud person so i was like i'm just gonna put this we're gonna be there her birthday's at seven so we're gonna be there up until the seven so i was like when her birthday come along i'm gonna go ahead and just you know i'm gonna make it seem like come here we ain't get you a gift until like then <laughs> um yeah i'm not gonna talk so much i'm gonna show you guys what i got from saint laurent today um but i'm gonna show you guys once i finish packing and all of that so let's get into packing y'all So while I'm in the process, let me put this away. I'm in the process of packing, so I have to show you guys this bag so I can go ahead and start filling it up. I took a trip to St. Laurent. Um, oh, that is heavy. I got two items. The first one is a bag that I've had my eye on for a while, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or if I didn't want to get it. And I'm always the type of person that's like, if I want to... If I want to get it, I'm never going to stop wanting it. So now that it's been months since I first seen this bag and I still want the bag, I was just like, all right, let me just go ahead and get it. It was kind of like a birth, early birthday gift, but then I actually have my birthday gift, which is not this. Um, but, you know, I just be like, I be making excuses as to why I'm spending money when I shouldn't be spending money. So, yeah. But it is the Rive Gosh, Gush, Gosh, Rive Gosh. Saint Laurent bag I got the large size I mainly wanted a travel bag because I always carry my Louis with me as a travel bag and it's just be it doesn't fit too much the weight like I'm not gonna lie this definitely does have a sense of weight to it um, it is definitely heavier than I thought it would be um, but regardless of that I am very pleased with the purchase. I'm happy that I bought it. I wish that I just went and got it sooner. Um, this one has like a coating on top. It's not water resistant, but it is not going to um, stain as easily because of the coating. The size of this right here does not have coating. And if you like, you can always like pull out the sides here in the corner and it will be like this shape i mainly got it because i wanted it to fit my laptop which it fits perfectly um oh, this is my laptop oh i guess i could have got the smaller size i guess i could have got the smaller size. okay so when i was in the store the lady was asking me whether or not I wanted this size or the smaller size. And I'm like, I feel like my laptop is so big, so I don't want to get the smaller size that my laptop doesn't fit. And then it does the same exact thing. And the reason why I wanted to get this big bag is because I wanted it to fit more things than my um, Louis does. So let me go ahead and just take the paper out of here. But this does fit it comfortably, which I like. I don't want anything that's going to add any strains to the bag. I don't really want much of it. So it definitely does fit it comfortably. So I'm happy about that. Um, it has an ample amount of space for multiple things that I can place in here without having to worry about spacing or anything like that. It is very spacious in here. Okay, so I'm very happy with this purchase. So that was the first one. And then I went in there specifically for the bag. Ended up getting a pair of sandals. I don't know if I told you guys that I've been eyeing some, like I've been wanting to get sandals for so long. And both my boyfriend and my best friend have been telling me that I shouldn't get another pair of one of, one of the shoes that I have, either a Christian Dior or a Dior sandal or a Hermes sandal. So I was just like, okay, I guess whatever. I went in there and I saw these new sandals. I don't know why I went to the sandals. I was just like, you know, let me just look at these sandals real quick. I went in there and saw these nude sandals and I was just like, oh my God, I gotta have it. I've been wanting nude sandals and this color nude for so long. 
and I was looking for one in um, like the Hermes. I was thinking of getting the Hermes sandal that is like this, but I was just like, I mean, I guess I should get another pair of sandals that are not sandals that I already have. But I ended up getting what is the name of these? I ended up getting. I ended up getting the Cassandra 05 sandal. Um, it comes in two baggies, you know, two dust bags. And it looks like she, this is her. It is so cute. I'm just going to go ahead and put my hand in there. It is so freaking cute. I just feel like it just matches me very well. Um, I feel like I've been looking for a sandal like this. They actually had heels that was this color too. And it made me like, oh, I just want to get a pair of heels too. But I'm like, no, I'm not spending that much money. But yeah, the only thing that I'm a little scared about is that this does not have any type of ridging at the bottom, which will cause it to have some type of grip. This is easily sliding, slipping, and sliding, okay? So you have to be very, very careful when you wear these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my feet so you guys can see how it looks these are the shoes they're so freaking cute to me i just feel like it fits me perfectly yes i have discoloration on my toes so what it does not matter i'm just super happy with the purchase i feel like it's just so freaking cute oh my gosh i got this in a size 39 i'm usually at eight eight and a half but i got a size 39 just because european sizes are always kind of like finicky um so yeah i felt like it fit me literally like perfectly um i was thinking maybe i could get like a size 39 and a half she was asking me if i wanted that but i'm like i'm not even a uh like it fit me and i still had space here and i'm like i'm not naturally a nine so i just got a 39 just to be safe i didn't want to get a 40 because i felt like that was too big even when i got my hermes i got a size 40 and it was like i mean not i got a size 40 i tried on a size 40 and it was really really large on me and i didn't want to um buy that because i'm like i don't want my foot sliding out the shoe you know but even though this one has a strap so maybe it wouldn't have but i don't know i'm happy with it i feel like it's gonna fit me perfectly fine okay and then i went to aldo to get some jewelry i guess i could just show you the jewelry that i got from aldo as well i feel like i heard something and i guess they didn't have any freaking shopping bags so they put it all in this little bag here so I got some bracelets because I didn't have any bracelets or anything like that. And I've really been into like gold bangles and stuff. So I got like this gold bangle bracelet. It's a set of three. I got this like cobra neck. Is it like a cobra chain? I don't know. I forgot what these are called. But I, I refer to it as like a cobra chain, like a snake neck um, type of gold chain just to put on something and i just really wanted like gold accessories i have these pair of like silver earrings that i got for just in case if i go out and i want to dress something up or whatever i can wear these and then i got um this i really wanted to wear this as like an anklet it's like a bracelet but i want to see if i can wear this as an anklet see if it fits around my ankle because that's really what i wanted it for and if it doesn't i'm going to return it because i don't want to deal with that and then i got these earrings which i felt was like really really cute very vacationy um i love me a hoop so that's why i got this and yeah hold on it is now like two something about to be three o'clock in the morning i'm still packing because i have too much stuff i need to take some of this stuff out i can't carry all of that stuff that i have in my bag like i literally can't i need to carry my ring light i feel like maybe i can like get rid of some shoes i don't know i'm not gonna bring this flavor because that can just stay i don't need all these shoes I need to read like literally read pack especially this one corner just because I feel like so much more stuff can fit in here if I just pack better I don't feel like I'm, I'm packed the neatest so let's see how I can make these things fit let me take this stuff out of here let me leave this in there okay put this ladder I have so much stuff okay i took a lot of things out at this point i'm gonna go shower so i've not showered i'm gonna go shower and then i'm just gonna you know pack my laptop in i haven't even downloaded any of the videos i said i was gonna download from netflix but i'm gonna go ahead and do that 
And then I'm gonna take like a quick nap for like an hour and then head to Shawnee's house. And from there, I should be good. I should be good. I need to stop packing the night before because if I didn't pack the night before, I'll be sleeping right now. But here I am. you guys my outfit i wish it was like a full length mirror or something chance <laughs> please do the honor give me a spin give me a spin Ooh. Ew. you can put this down because this is not a part of the outfit okay? <laughs> it's not it's not i was going for chill you know like a chill new york not doing too much but just a nonsense you look real new york right now period <laughs> what's that nothing <laughs> Oh my, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. If you guys want to see the official Aruba vlog, make sure to check that out right after this one. It'll either be up the same week as this or the week after this. So keep an eye out, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to, to seeing in the vlog. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.